Hey everyone, it's Matt Groves again. I want to show you one of my favorite things about Couchbase Server 4.5, and that's the Query Workbench. Now, as a Microsoft developer, I'm used to working with SQL Server Management Studio, and this Query Workbench tool feels like that to me. So let's just click on the Query tab here, and there are three main areas I want to cover. Let's start with the Nickel Editor area at the top. This is where you can edit a Nickel query that you want to try out. I'll type in a really simple one here, select t.star from travel sample t limit 5. And notice that I get some nice syntax highlighting with nickel. There's also a convenient button over here to save the nickel query to a text file. Now as I execute additional queries, this workbench builds up a history of past queries that I can navigate to using these arrow buttons. Next, let's look at the results area. So I'll go ahead and execute this query. Here I can see the results of the query in JSON format. In this case, it's a JSON array of the first five documents. So there's an array of five objects there. I can switch over to a table view, which is a little more compact way to view the results, or the tree view, which is very similar to the JSON view, except it uses some visual cues here instead of the JSON syntax. You can also see some useful numbers about the query, if it was successful, how long it took to execute, how many results there are, and so on. Now if I enter an invalid query, I can get some information about the query to help me fix it. So let's make a typo in the bucket name, execute that, and I'll get an error message. And that's, This will tell me that, oh, I spelled my bucket name wrong, so I can go back and fix that. Now finally, let's go on to the bucket analysis area. Now Couchbase Server is a schema-less document database. There are no constraints to the structure of the JSON documents you enter into the system and the fields in that document. If you wanted, every single document could be completely unique. However, it is often the case that documents will tend to take on a regular form. Some percentage of the documents will share roughly the same fields and structure. So with this in mind, if we were to take a random sample of all the documents in a bucket and examine the fields in them, we could infer a schema. And this is exactly what you can do in the bucket analysis area. So you can click to expand a bucket. I'll choose travel sample here. It's going to take a sample with a default of a thousand documents and construct an implied schema. The bucket analysis will list each flavor of document that it finds and what percentage documents it sampled that match that flavor. For instance, in the travel bucket, I see five flavors. So flavor one corresponds to type root, flavor two airports, flavor 3 landmark, and so on. So I can use this information to construct some more interesting nickel queries. So instead of just selecting the first five documents, I'll select the first five documents where the document has a field of type the value of route. Execute that. Now in my results, I get back a collection of routes. Now routes in the travel sample are interesting because they have a schedule field here which is an array of JSON objects. It takes up a lot of space in this JSON result, but if we switch over to table view, we can get a little more compact view of what's going on. And we can see that the schedule field is really just kind of like a table within a table. I don't know how I get by without Query Workbench, and I'm really glad it was part of Couchbase Server 4.5. Thanks for watching.